Tonight, a Charlestown dad will live out a hockey parent's dream. He'll watch his son compete for the Stanley Cup. And as Joe Matthew tells us, that dad has a deep connection not only to the Bruins, but to the place they call home. Sit down here, nice and comfortable. Perfect. When the Bruins take the ice tonight in the Stanley Cup final at the Garden, John Grizzlick's work will be done. As part of the Garden's bull gang, he changes Celtics parquet into Bruins ice and back again. And this is called the subfloor. That goes down first. You know where all the pieces go. Um, I don't know where everyone is, but there is somebody that does. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> There's not much about this place he doesn't know. He's worked at the Garden for more than 50 years. And by the way, no one here calls him John. Uh, most of them just call me Grizz. <laughs> My wife's Mrs. Grizz. He's Little Grizz. That's pretty great. Like his dad, Little Grizz works here too. Bruins fans know him as Matt Grizzlick, number 48. And you see your son up on the Jumbotron, and yeah, life see, is good. Still, it still blows my mind to see my kid up there. And then what really blows my mind is to see other kids with my name on their back of their shirts. It's always a thrill to see his son skating on this ice. But it's nothing new. Matt Grizzlick has been skating here since he was a toddler. But like any hockey parent, Grizz also got his kid to games and practices in far less impressive surroundings. These seats are a lot warmer than sitting on the maroon and uh, stairs down in Marlboro or down at uh, 6 in the morning with a cup of coffee. But, you know. He still watches his son's games with other hockey parents who come from all over the world, and he likes to show them this view. You see that church spire right there? Yep. I live right below that. Oh, come you're on. You're kidding me. You know, you know, I walk to work every day, and I walk to work. You're kidding me. No kid. I, I just travel halfway around the country <laughs> to see my kid. Right there in Charlestown, only a mile away. And they're rooting for a little Grizz. You know, everybody in the town is very supportive, you know, whether it goes to a barber shop, whether it goes to a sub store, whatever it is, they're all calm, Matt, congrats, come on, you know, they're all pulling for him. Just like his dad, who, as usual, will be on his feet. You know, during a Bruins game, especially in the playoffs, most people stand anyways. Grizz should know. He's been a fan about as long as he's been alive. And yes, he was here for this. Back in front door, shot, score! I always said that was the greatest goal ever, and then my son scored a beanpot goal, and then he scored his first goal as a Bruin, and then he just scored two goals in the um, uh, playoffs. So, you know, Bobby was probably down to, like, number four now with me. <laughs> Grizz tells me he hopes Matt can keep it up until Bobby Orr is out of the top ten. Joe Matthew, WGBH News. I hope Joe was able to stay up late enough to see himself there. You know, a few weeks ago, Grizzlick's father was going to get a haircut and then decided not to. That same weekend, his son scored two goals. Grizzlick says he's not particularly superstitious, but he's not going to go to the barber until the Stanley Cup is won.